Mostly sunny to start your day tomorrow. Very pleasant outside. Still nice and dry as far as the humidity goes. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s to get us started. We're going to be back into the upper 70s for the afternoon. Still very comfortable, but we can't rule out some pop-up storm chances. We are seeing something on the radar. Hmm. Russ, any guesses? Uh, ah. Veiled sunshine. No, not right now. <laughs> it's kind of my go-to go move, Betsy. This is what happens it's... when you catch Russ off guard. Oh. Uh, this is actually bugs. Midges. Midges, oh. mayflies. Yeah, the okay. hatch is on. And actually, I'll put this in motion for you. You can kind of see it kind of oh, come and go. So we have an invasion coming. Uh, so those folks who are right along, boy, that's probably uh, Sheffield Lake, Avon Lake area, probably seeing uh, some midges passing through right now. I haven't seen a whole lot of them, maybe upgraded to the mayflies. But I tell you what, it's bug season in Lake Erie. And so we're going to continue to see them as we kind of go through the rest of the summer. Temperatures are currently in the low to mid 60s. It's comfortable out there, friends. If you haven't been able to kick off the AC for a while, do so now. You get a break. It's super uh, comfortable as far as the humidity goes. Our humidity levels were declining today. At one point, we were only like 35% humidity. But we're going to look at dew point temperatures because that's a little bit better, better measure of the humidity, especially at night. And we have dew point temperatures in the 50s. That is very comfortable. Once we get into the 60s, that's when it gets back to mugginess. And then the 70s is what we call gross. That's when it's super nasty out there. So we don't have any of that on the horizon anytime soon. There is a little instability, though. What little moisture we do have may uh, kind of add into some thunderstorm development tomorrow. You can see how things were rolling west of us. There will be a surge of energy working through northern Ohio tomorrow. That may be just enough to overcome the deficit of moisture and kick us uh, a few showers and thunderstorms through the area. Not expecting a widespread amount, but it's possible. And then once we get into, uh, boy, the latter part of the week and into the weekend, we're going to be watching a cold front coming through. We'll get a surge of heat ahead of it and then showers and thunderstorms, and it looks like that is lining up for your weekend forecast. National Design Mart hour-by-hour hour forecast for the overnight keeps us clear. We'll have just a few high clouds passing through in the morning. Temperatures in the 60s to get the day going right back into the mid 70s as we hit midday. There's your pop up shower and thunderstorm chances mid to late afternoon as temperatures top out in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. It's all dependent upon the timing of clouds and showers, uh, but we'll be cooling back into the mid 70s as we go through the evening. Those rain showers start to dissipate. The winds come out of the south and by Friday morning we'll start the day in the mid 60s and watch the mercury rise quickly as we get into the afternoon. I think we're going to head right back into the mid, possibly upper 80s on Friday. And if you can uh, see on your widescreen TV, there is a little chance for some rain that starts to pop in. Maybe Friday night we'll start to see that rain. Here's your Universal Windows Direct Outlook. We're going to be upper 70s tomorrow, mid 80s and dry on Friday, Friday night into Saturday and then Sunday. Sunday, rain and storms likely. We're going to go right back into the mid 80s. The heat returns, the humidity returns, but the showers and thunderstorms don't. So another dry long stretch coming our way in the early part of next week, Russ. Ah, midges. There you go. You got it. Thank you, Betsy.